We are transparent in the eyes of the universe, part one of three, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on December 22nd, 2019, in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. Good. Okay. I'm sorry. I will speak English now. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot come out today. I had already prepared to go out, and then I had a message from my uh, from my father, protectors. Yeah. Yes. The Yosuke protectors. They told me don't go out because somebody will uh, do some harmful things to me. Not physically, not physically, uh, psychologically, uh, I mean psychically. Because some, some people, you know, even though initiated, they are still very low level because uh, in the beginning, or uh, even now, often I just uh, let anybody have, have a chance to be initiated and then hope that they will change. But some people are still very low level. As I told you already, one time, some of the so-called initiated are still at the hell level because that's where they just came from. Some were enemies in the past, and some still are playing enemy at this time. I want to tell you, uh, do not be envious because I wear nice clothes and jewelry and all that. These are just commercial for work. I need... I need to earn money for different reasons. So I have to wear my own creations, my own products, you know, on TV and all that. So maybe people can buy more. I need to earn money in an official way, not begging for it or not uh, relying on your donation. You know that all the way since the beginning up to now. But even then, this is a kind of a curse also because some people, especially women, still envious of my look or my position or a love that the people have for me. Well, I understand. I understand human uh, weaknesses, yes, but this is very bad for you to do that. Uh, today, there's one Taiwanese woman. I don't want to mention the name, okay? I hope she will change. Who is uh, too envious of me because of that? I'm so sorry that you feel so negative about me, even though some of you don't use magic anymore or are not aware of your magical uh, remnants from the past. But if you have negative thinking or feelings towards somebody or even toward the master, it will have a very bad effect and it's very bad for you. You could go to a very dark, place in the universe for that, like hell, for example, and you will stay there a long, long time. Because because of your dark thinking, because of your negative tendency, not because the master punished you. No, the master never, ever punished anyone. She only always tries to help, to rescue, to uplift any beings. But if after initiation you still harbor some ill will, then you have to pay for it, even initiation. Because you already know what's right from wrong, and you still do it. Then it's very, very bad. The punishment will be double. And there's not much the master can do about it. Sometimes I can, sometimes not. Depends on how grave the offense is. It's very bad for you and bad for your five, six, seven, eight, nine generations. They will also be affected by your negative tendency, thinking 
or envious mentality or bad attitude. So please, I advise you to keep your mind, your heart, your actions always pure. And any time any little negative thing crops up in your mind, creeps into your mind, cut it out immediately. Always recite the five names and the gift that I have given to you. There is my energy in it. That will help you to be a better person, a progressed practitioner, and a good citizen in our society. We don't practice just for our own liberation and the liberation of many generations. We practice also to bless the world and the countries we live in and the villages we live in and the surroundings, any beings around us, visible or invisible, because we owe them also some favor in the past life or now present life. We have to be a grateful being and repay others' kindness. To be a noble person is not very difficult. Just think positive, think benevolent, act benevolent, speak benevolently then you and your many generations will benefit. And people around you, any beings around you, visible or invisible, will be happy and they bless you also. Anything negative will return to you manifold, even in your thinking. That's why I've told you to keep not only actions, but speech and thoughts positive. Because every negative tendency or thought or action will bring havoc upon yourself and also create disturbance around you and harm other people physically or mentally, emotionally, psychically or psychologically or spiritually because it's delaying their progress as well as, you know, uh, sometimes uh, hindering the master's work to benefit others, including your very own self. I should have said it in Chinese, but maybe I will translate into Chinese in a while, okay? After I speak to everyone in English first, because it's easier for people to translate from English to their own native tongue not vice versa, yes. To be able to speak English and to translate well into English like a native English speaking person is different. Therefore, I speak English because you can understand English very well and your native tongue is easy for you, yes. So this is all I want to tell you. Uh, many times, you know, heavenly beings, I mean, the Yosuke beings, the, the protectors around me, they told me, don't go, don't go, don't go today. Because uh, not physically will I be harmed, it's just psychically or psychologically, uh, you know, will be disturbed and then the retreat will not go well. That is a problem. I have to save all my bits of energy and attention for the people who come to the retreat because they save their time, money, and forsaking everything to come to be together for one week. And during this one week, I want to deliver everything that is best for them. So I don't want to come out just because of one lousy, low-level, hellless person who wants to cause trouble in the assembly. I cannot kick them all out because they have to do something. So I would have an excuse to do that. So I avoid what I can. Do you guys understand me or not? Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you for being understanding and forgiving me for not coming out today. Even though I was all prepared, I rushed everything and 
Oh, these days, even though I was on retreat, I had to do many inside things and outside things as well because I never would have had time otherwise to arrange everything so that I could be ready to go out to face you and to deliver some good energy to you. So in order to protect the majority, sometimes I have to uh, avoid seeing you. For some time, only, okay? Yes. 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 When it's favorable, I will come out, don't worry. Okay, huh? Yeah. If not, I will tell you and I will talk to you. Uh-huh, okay? Mm. If not, I will arrange some video conference or something. Please be concentrating, be good. Be good in your heart, not just outside. Everything outside is just illusion anyway. Even if we do good deeds or bad deeds, it is or illusion. But even then, the illusional uh, mind still judges us if we do some bad things or think bad thoughts. And we will be punished all the same. We, ourselves, our conscience, will punish ourselves. No one else does. And because our conscience wants to punish ourselves because it goes against our noble, true nature to be good, to be noble, then we punish ourselves because we want to, so things will be created to punish us, like hell, like other bad beings, or bad things that happen to us. It's because we create that situation, a scenery, even though it's illusion, but we will feel suffering all the same. Just like now, in this world, it's an illusionary world, but we suffer in it. We suffer everything in it. Even if we know it's illusion, we still suffer. Because it is the way it is. Once we don't this physical body, everything happens according to that world of the physical domain that we have created and agree to be in, to play the game due to some reason before we are born, due to some past bad deeds or good deeds or, you know, noble vow to come down to save others or to come down to redeem ourselves, to come down to progress spiritually, to come down to help others that we loved in the past life, or yeah, purely just to be a better being, to uh, mend our past mistakes and misdeeds, to atone for some ungood things that we have done in some former life, to others, so many reasons why we came here. If we have any bad negative tendency towards anyone, especially towards Master, we have to be really careful. We have to stop immediately and repent truly, otherwise the consequence is very, very, very terrible for us. Even just a tiny bit of negative thought, it will bring disaster into your life now or after and affect your family you are five, six, seven, up to nine generations. So be aware of your own enemies, your own ego, your own jealousy, your own negative uh, mind and thinking. And don't make it become a habit. If you don't cut it now, it will become a habit and it accumulates, accumulates more and more all the time in this trend and then you never can get rid of it. And then there's only one road to go where your tendency leads you. That's a hell road because it's opposite to nobility and goodness. Opposite to positive, then it will go to a negative area. And hell will be your habitat because it's the one that is suitable to your thinking, to your uh, negative uh, quality. Whatever we do, we earn us a place in different uh, regions of the universe. So make sure you earn a good, noble place by training yourself to be good, do good, and think good. Even if you cannot do good, even if you cannot think good, then please, at least, don't think bad. Always cut it out immediately the moment it creeps into your mind or through your mind or from your mind, any negative thinking. Cut it immediately, replace with the five holy names and with the gift. If you have it, cleanse it out. 
then it becomes a habit. And you will always be doing that, even at the time of your unconsciousness, at the time of your sleeping, nothing bad will creep into your mind, your being. That's the best thing you could do for yourself, for your family, your loved ones, and your many, many generations. Please do that. I have no hatred against any one of you. Only love, sacrifice, and devotion to the best of your soul's development. So please help me to do that. That's all I ask of you. I don't ask anything else. I have never asked for anything else. Did I? No. Okay. So please, remember that. Be good. Do good. Think good. At least think good. You cannot do good. Just think good all the time. I don't enjoy any luxury. I prefer just to be in any cave corner or a little hut somewhere, being alone, quiet, peacefully, enjoying myself and my heavens and among the noble qualities of goddesses. But I have to sacrifice all that for you, for all the beings, for, for the world and for the universe. I'm not saying this to boast to you. I'm just telling you the truth as always. I'm not proud of wearing nice clothes or jewelry, but that's the things I can I can do to, to earn financial support as I don't want to bother you. I don't want to take anything from you because you need to use your financial possessions to help yourself, to help your family in society which is needed right now so that you can survive, so that you can be decent so that you don't have to rely on anyone else or beg or be in a low, lower position where you have to depend. Being dependent is the worst thing you can have because it lowers for your dignity. It lowers for your self-esteem. It makes you not feel very confident, not feel very uh, happy with yourself, not feel contented, even though your mind might think that it's good to leave off someone else. Your mind is your mind that is bad because it's been brainwashed into thinking either good or bad. So just brainwash it back to thinking good. That's all you have to do because it's your mind. You can control it. You can train it. You can educate it. And I think being a master, I should also be independent. If I cannot help anyone else, at least I can help myself so I don't have to burden another being who has the same capability like me, like has hands, has feet, has nose, has ears, has brain power, has, you know, education. <laughs>